Tip number eight in my top 10 tips for shooting better video is very basic, but it can help you avoid one of the most common and biggest mistakes when shooting video. Hi, I'm Grant, and tip number eight for shooting better video is look and then look again at your viewfinder. Here's the classic example. You have a beautiful shot framed up in your viewfinder or some action has unfolded right in front of you beautifully and then only to realize afterwards that you weren't recording. You could have sworn you hit the record button or maybe you double tapped it by mistake or bumped the camera off, but whatever it was, the little red light in your viewfinder was not on. I know this sounds like common sense, but this tip doesn't change no matter what style or type of camera you're using. The core function of your viewfinder is so that you can see what's happening in front of your lens, so therefore then you can frame it, expose it, and record it. However, a close second core function of your viewfinder is that it is continually communicating to you what the camera is doing, what its settings are, and any potential problems that may be arising. In fact, I would wager that nine times out of 10, if you've ever, ever had any problems recording something, there was a clue being communicated to you through your viewfinder. I was on a two camera shoot recently where we were following a young couple bidding on their first home at an auction. I was following the couple and getting their reaction and the crowd and the production company employed a second cameraman whose sole job was just to shoot the auctioneer during the auction so we could get the, um, the auctioneer's audio and, and, and all the palaver that goes with it. The young couple won the house at the auction and we followed them out for their reaction and then the second cameraman came out looking very sheepish as he had managed to double tap his record button and not recorded a single bit of the auction. That whole costly mistake could have been avoided if that cameraman had just double checked that the little red record light was actually on in his viewfinder. It is very easy to get distracted by what is going on in your viewfinder in terms of your framing and your exposure and the action happening, but you must also look at what the camera is telling you or is trying to tell you. Your viewfinder is your friend and it will tell you at a glance the essential core functions that are going on with your camera. I've had many a times where I've looked in the viewfinder halfway through a recording and then I've realized that perhaps the battery has died in my radio mic because I've got no audio bars going in the viewfinder or that I'm about to run out of card or battery or any other things that can disrupt your recording. I have a little routine whereby once I hit record when I'm shooting video, the first thing I do is I look around the viewfinder and I read everything in the display. For example, here are some of the elementary things that I look for and double check in my viewfinder. Is the record light on? Am I actually recording? Did I hit record? I also look at the f-stop or aperture setting if you have that in your viewfinder display. Is it stopped right down? Is it opened right up? And is that the look that I'm after? Audio meter, is the little audio meters actually moving? Am I recording audio? Keep checking this one. White balance setting if your camera has it. Battery life, is my battery about to die and I'm just about to record a long take or an interview? How much recording space or time do I have left on my card or recording media? And time code or counter. How much time has elapsed? Or for example, sometimes a time code can also tell you because if those numbers aren't spinning, you're not recording. I know this is very elementary, but I can't stress enough how many times this has helped me avoid or early detection of a problem. Often you're in the heat of the moment, getting caught up in the action, or perhaps somebody's trying to hurry you on into the recording, only to realize minutes into it or even further that something is not right or that a setting is incorrect on your camera and you have to stop it and restart it if possible. So that's tip number eight, look and look again in your viewfinder. And from all the tips that I've given you so far, this is the one that can probably save you the most embarrassment in front of other people, and that is speaking from experience. That's it, and as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for tip number nine.